Lastly, let's have a look at how we handle these presentations as files. As files, we can share them with other collaborators. We can open up a new presentation from here. We can open up an already existing presentation. We can see that the presentation can be opened up from my drive or I can upload a presentation from my computer in, into slides or I can open up a presentation which has been shared with me. I can also import slides from another presentation. I'll just demonstrate how I can import slides from another presentation. Let me say I can view all the presentations which are available on Google Drive for me right now. One of the presentation is on Google Slides. Let me say I want to import a slide from Google Slides into my presentation. So I click on that Google Slides presentation. Click on select so that the presentation is selected. And now I can view all the slides of that presentation. So I can select a slide which I want to include in my presentation. So I click on this and I click on import slides. So that slide has been imported into my presentation just before the parent slide. So as you can see, this slide has been imported. This demonstrates the chart feature as I was talking in the previous session. You can insert a chart and you can also insert a table like this in your presentation. Next, I can make a copy of the presentation. You can make a copy, a duplicate copy of the entire presentation so that you don't want to disturb the current presentation and create an altogether new copy onto which you can make changes. Or I can select a few slides from the current presentation and save them as new presentation. Then next, I can, it's not so that the presentation will remain in Google Drive only. I can download it on my computer. The various formats available can be seen here. I can download this as a Microsoft PowerPoint file so that you can use it in PowerPoint. I can use that as ODP file. ODP format is supported by OpenOffice. I can download that as a PDF file. PDF file means it is non-editable file and it takes up less space for storage. Or I can download this file as plain text it will just contain the text from the presentation or the current slide can be downloaded as a picture now there are two formats for graphics or pictures one is jpg and the other one is png in case you want to insert this as an image in your file uh, in image at any location then you can convert the current slide into a image downloading that as either a jpg file or a PNG file. Another option that is available is not very commonly used .svg again for downloading the current slide as a graphic. So these are the various ways in which I can download the entire presentation or the current slide as a graphic on my computer. Next if I want to send this file as an email to another person I can use the email as attachment option I'll click on this option it asks me for the email of the person to whom I want to send this presentation I can type my message here I can specify the format in which the file is going to be sent is it a PDF file PDF makes it non editable once again I'm repeating it and in case you want it to be an editable file you can send it as a Microsoft PowerPoint presentation once you have filled in these details, the send option is activated. Since I have not filled in the email address, so the send option is deactivated. And in case you want to receive a mail copy of the mail that you are sending, then you can click in this box to say send yourself a copy. Right now I am cancelling this operation because I don't want to send this file as an email to anybody. And the other options like rename is for changing the name of the file move is a general drive option which moves this file to another location so that's all for google slides from my side happy learning hope you enjoyed the session and 
thank you very much for watching the video and i'll be looking forward to feedback from all of you thanks a lot